Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, we're going to look at another cigar from Black Star Line. This is their newest one, I believe. The Lala Bella. And this is comes in two sizes. This is the one I chose. I'm calling it the Toro. They just call it a 6x52. There is the density. Little pigtail at the cap. Has a very good feel in the hand. Now, uh, Black Star Line cigars are made at uh, the L Titan de Bronze factory in uh, Miami and at Agonorsa Leaf. I think this is made in the Agonorsa factory, but it doesn't really matter. This uses the Mexican San Andreas wrapper, Nicaraguan binder, and Nicaraguan filler. Also comes in a 6x60. That's a big one. All right, this is 6x52. It's sold in five packs and in boxes of 20. Lala Bella is a town in northern Ethiopia. So that's where the name comes from. So that being said, that's the long and short of it. Let's get right to it. The new Lala Bella Toro from Black Star Line. That's basically a nipple. Mm. That is a little bit of a firm draw. Oh, well. Be right back. Use the perfect draw. All right, that will do it. Good old perfect draw. You better get one if you don't have it. Better than a poker. Poker. All right. Well, you've got some citrus, citrus peel, apricot, a lot of a worn leather, high concentrations of worn leather, and almost as much earthy black coffee. Black pepper at about seven. Very deep, dark noted start. Has sweetness. Percentage-wise, the sweeter notes are about 40% and 60% of the darker notes, the leather and the coffee. So that's how it starts. It's not too bad of a start. Let's see what transitions. First third, slow burning cigar. I like it. All right, so now the, the sweeter notes have risen a little bit. We're not so out of whack, 40, 60. It's getting close to 50, 50. The uh, apricot notes and the brown sugar are coming out the most. The citrus is out, but not nearly as much as those two. There is some nutmeg in the mix, which I didn't mention first, but I will now. And the uh, worn leather, very worn leather, and uh, earthy black coffee are still there, but they're in a little more of a manageable amount. This is a fairly impressive cigar so far. It's a lot of, uh, a lot of things going on. The finish is apricot and leather. With average lingering black pepper, nothing to write home about, but not bad. Medium. And it's basically medium to full already. But this is a good cigar. 
I like it. It's intriguing and it's really a little different than the run of the mill. 93 for the first third. And to be honest with you, 93 is a good bit higher than if you rated the start. The start wasn't great, but it kept getting better and better to this point, which is a optimistic, you know, it's a good. It, it makes me optimistic of how the rest of the cigar will go. So let's find out. In the second third. And the cigar is getting a little darker again. It's uh, not much, but a little. There's even unsweetened dark chocolate, I would say, in there, in the lower level notes. Because it's got worn leather, now uh, unsweetened dark chocolate, and earthy black coffee. All three. The apricot and brown sugar are fighting hard to be in the mix. And they are, but we're not at exactly a 50 50 split anymore but you will get those sweet notes and then you will quickly follow with those dark notes high grade medium to full very close to full body finishes uh worn leather light apricot notes and i would say some of that unsweetened dark chocolate is on the finish Improved lingering black pepper. Still not great, but better. But the cigar has uh, gotten darker. And, uh, you know, personal preference for me, I'm rating at 92 at this stage. Because it's, it's very dark. And, and the sweetness is not at the level to overcome that amount of darkness. So let's just see what we have in the final third. to the end so let's wrap it up well the cigar sort of kept going in the same little floating trajectory downward as far as uh, sweet notes to dark notes is probably about like what we talked about a little earlier 40 60 sweet to dark apricot and brown sugar is uh there and it's noticeable without a doubt but it's just not quite to the level that i would like it to be the uh Unsweetened dark chocolate, leather, and black coffee are a big part of this cigar. I would call it full body. The finish is primarily dark chocolate and nutmeg with good lingering black pepper. For this section, I would rate it 91. Definitely above my line, but uh, it's, it's, it's been going just steadily, slowly downhill i think black star line though is one we ought to keep our eye on because they have interesting tasting cigars sounding cigars i have the dark war witch to go yet with them and i'm very interested in it but uh, as far as this cigar your overall score is 92 so it's not bad at all but it sort of creeps downward as it goes at least in my opinion so there you have it. The La La Bella Toro 6x52 by Black Star Line 92. <laughs>